hello given now we will see how does a capacitor behave when it is driven to a impulse input impulse or infinite current source so what is an impulse function first that we need to know so an impulse is infinite amp amplitude infinite amplitude or magnitude but finite area finite area let us assume we have a function xt equals to a delta t okay so it would be infinite at t equals to 0 but 0 otherwise okay so you can draw it something like this this is your xt okay and here this is your a delta t it has infinite magnitude at t equals to 0 and then it is 0 otherwise and what is this a this is area now let me explain it now let us assume we have this axis okay and this is our step function from minus 1 by a to 1 by a and it has area a so this magnitude will be 2a into a right so area is a okay now what you do you reduce the x axis now what you do this will be minus 1 by 2a okay we have reduced the x coordinate but we need to keep the area same okay so the amplitude will increase from 2 2a into a to 4a into a but the area remains constant area will be a only now let us assume we are reducing it to some value k it is minus 1 by ka and it is 1 by ka so it would be 2 ka and the area is a only just as you are reducing the x coordinate the area the magnitude is getting increased now let's assume take k to infinity if k is infinity this would become to 0 right this coordinate would become 0 and this area would go to infinity so that would form an impulse function we are taking k to infinity right k to infinity this is going to infinity so the coordinate would become to 0 and this area would go to infinity right but the area is a only sorry the not the area would go to infinity the magnitude will go to infinity magnitude will go to infinity but the area is a only the area would remain to be a only but magnitude is infinity so how do we represent it we represent like this a into delta t do you get my point now here our area is a only but the magnitude is infinity now what is the unit of this a unit of this a whatever the unit of what is the unit of a that would be equals to unit of y axis into unit of x axis right because a is the area now you have been given let let i t equals to 5 delta t that means d of q t by d t equals to 5 delta t if 
चेंज इन चार्ज डी क्यू टी दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव कुलाम ओके एंड चेंज इन टाइम डी टी इज जीरो सेकेंड देन योर डी क्यू बाई डी टी फॉर राइटिंग यू कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस राइट एंड इट गोज टू इन्फिनिटी सो दैट वुड मेक एन इम्पल्स फंक्शन सो इफ योर करंट इज आई टी इक्वल्स टू फाइव डेल्टा टी सो वट डज दैट शो दैट शोज दैट यू आर गिविंग यू आर गिविंग फाइव कुलाम चार्ज यू आर गिविंग फाइव कुलाम चार्ज इन नो टाइम ओके यू यू जस्ट अप्लाइड एन इम्पल्स करंट दैट मीन्स यू हैव गिवन फाइव कुलाम चार्ज इन नो टाइम इट जस्ट केम फाइव कुलाम चार्ज केम ओके सो नाउ यू हैव दिस सर्किट राइट दिस इज द कैपेसिटर दिस इज वी नोट दिस इज सी दिस इज फाइव डेल्टा टी दिस इज योर करंट सोर्स राइट ओके नाउ यू नीड टू ड्रो द वे फॉर्म ऑफ वी नोट टी सो वॉट यू कैन डू वी नोट टी इज इक्वल टू द कैपेसिटर वोल्टेज इक्वेशन वन बाई सी इंटीग्रेशन आई टी डॉट डी टी सो वन बाई सी इंटीग्रेशन फाइव डेल्टा टी इन टू डी टी इट वुड बी फाइव बाई सी यू टी राइट सो योर वी नोट टी वुड बी फाइव बाई सी यू टी सो योर वी नोट टी वुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस Your V not T will be like this, zero, zero, then like this. Okay, so from zero to you are going to five by C. Okay, so previously what you have studied, previously. we have studied that the capacitor doesn't changes its voltage immediately we have studied that capacitor doesn't changes its voltage immediately that means vc of t minus equals to vc of t equals to vc of t plus that we have studied right but here you can see that but here you can C an immediate change in capacitor voltage, right? First it was zero. First it was zero, and immediately it came to five by C. First it was zero. At t equals to zero plus, you would expect the the voltage to be zero only. But here you can see there is an immediate change. So. Here VC of t minus is not equals to VC of t. Okay, so that you can see here. So when there is infinite current, when there is infinite or impulse current flow, impulse current flow in capacitor then there will be then there will be immediate change in immediate change in capacitor voltage do you get it because of the infinite current source or impulse current source there will be an immediate change in capacitor voltage from 0 to 5 by c you are going okay so that's the concept or the what can be the method 2 method 2 it is equals to 5 delta t right what does that mean 5 coulomb charge 
in five coulomb charge in no time right five coulomb charge in no time four capacitor four capacitor what is vc that is equals to q by c how much charge you are giving five by c so that's the voltage of capacitor right impulse current source means 5 coulomb charge in no time so if you are giving 5 coulomb charge in no time to capacitance c so what will be the vc value it would be q by c that means 5 by c so from here also you can draw the graph from 0 to 5 by c you are going okay this is your v not t or vct so that's how you can also draw right do you understand this so what else i need to tell yes there will be one confusion like what is the unit of what is the unit of 5 by c like people may ask people may say that this was current right uh, i should this is 5 by c so you will say current was 5 delta t right and you will say this is farad so you, you will write the unit as ampere upon farad unit ampere upon farad but this is wrong what do you say the what is the unit of unit of voltage what is the unit of voltage it by c right Am, ampere into time ampere into not time ampere into second by farad why because vc is equals to it by c right if i is constant so vc equals to it by c so this is the unit but here we are saying it is ampere per farad no here th this 5 what is this 5 5 is area i told you before this is area this is the area and what is the unit of area that is y axis into x axis what is your, your your y here your y is current and what is your x this is time this is your it right this is here 5 delta t right so this is ampere into time already okay this 5 is ampere into time So this is ampere into second already so here the unit is ampere into second upon farad so this is voltage only so do you get it here there is one mistake like we shouldn't write it as it we shouldn't we we don't need to write it as it okay because this doesn't show the current this is not the value of current this is current into time right so you don't need to write that as it okay so the value of 5 the the sorry the unit of 5 is ampere into second okay the unit of 5 is ampere into second that's why it is voltage only okay so if you see 5 by c then you don't need to see 5 is current and uh, the capacitor has farad so it would be ampere by farad no it's not ampere by farad the 5 has unit ampere into second so it would be ampere into second by farad so that would be equals to voltage only okay so you don't need to get confused between the units okay so that's how there is an impulse change in capacitor voltage because of the infinite current source so this you need to remember when there is an infinite current source when there is an impulse current source there will be an there will be an immediate change in capacitor voltage so that that was one most important point this was this was the most important point okay when there is an infinite current flow in the capacitor there will be an immediate change in capacitor voltage okay thank you